Hi, I've been asked to do the furniture bridge, so I've done it. So the links I put just under the furniture planner, 2019, around 12 to 15 row on your links tab. And so um, I'm going to share with all the managers and Orietta and please um, intershare with the people that you think might benefit from the bridge. But however, um, nobody should be typing directly into these cells. Anybody who types into these cells, Orietta, block them, put them in view only because you don't need a time bomb um, that comes along and sabotage your bridges. The only button that the managers can use is the filter button to filter the people who are not working and um, the brake lines, which is counting the brakes. So it will look like this. That's the only button that the managers can press. Yeah. And um, nobody should be typing directly onto these. If anybody <clears throat> type into this line, find out who it is, block them. Because you don't need a person that come along and sabotage your um, bridges, as well as these. These are all um, automatically look up. Everything is automatically look up, including the um, the cashing up and witness. If anybody start to type it directly into these cells, find out who is, put them on view only because they should not be interfering with the formulas. Now, there is a link just above um, these areas, and then you can, oh, and also these as well. These breaks are actually be reading from another location. So if you actually find people typing into it, go and block them. Orietta, if you type into it, I'll be blocking you as well. <laughs> So all of you have been, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> you see, these are the links. Now, these links will lead you to the location where you can change things. So if you need to add in notes, you just um, go to the pop-up and it will tell you to, um, this is the tab that you enter your data in. So test one will become test three, let's just say, and then test three, four and five and six. Demo will become a name and a name here, name two. And we, if we go back to Sunday, it has changed, you see. And then the people who are absent, training um, and holiday. So let's just say coach one is on holiday. Hol. And then you can see coach one. Make it a bit bigger for you to see. Coach one is on holiday. Coach two is on Lou. Coach two is on Lou. Coach three is absence. Coach three is absence. So training will be the word training. So let's just say fitted. Um, fitted is under training or train. Uh, where is it? Here. Fitted five is under training. Yeah. So um, it's actually automated. So don't don't type into it. And here. Is the same. So you you um click onto the link and press here, and will take you to a break page. Whatever um, break slots you want, enter into this location, and all the tabs will pick it up depending on the opening hours. That that goes the same with um the other spreadsheets. All the other spreadsheet will pick up from week one. Okay, so I'm in week two at the moment. So let's just say I want to change some notes in here. Okay, 
click onto here and then week one will be opened up and then you can actually change your notes in week one see here yeah. so week one is actually controlling everything so that's why i'm saying don't don't start typing over everything because you are just ruining ruining the formulas yeah um so the cashier and the witness you could um input their names on here and it would um add up how many times this person have been a cashier see the name appeared twice let's just do um a, a generic name so this let's just pretend this is a person so this person appear once this person appear twice this person appear three times and it's actually um looking at it on a 28 day period so if it's outside uh, like a 29th day it won't count the 29th day yeah that's how this uh counting formula works so once you started to use the week one week two week three week four file go back to your furniture spreadsheet and delete the break tab delete the bridge tab and go and delete the furniture tab because the less you have on a spreadsheet the more efficient it will become but i'm not going to delete it for you because i don't know when you're going to start using this spreadsheet and everything is controlled on a Sunday. So if you change the date on the Sunday, did I change the date? Let's do April. Everything will follow April. April. The date will. All right, I have to. <laughs> I have to look into this one. <laughs> I got the dates all mixed up here. Okay. I will change these two around for all of them. Yeah. Um, hold on one moment. Let me do it now. So I have updated the, our three different spreadsheet. I'm going to show you how I would do it. Now, if it actually uh, have the wrong date on and you know it's a Wednesday, what you do, you, you go up here and instead of four, you put a three. Yeah, and that will be a Wednesday. So all it is, is uh, the formula um, Sunday C2, which is this location and add three, which is three days. So this will be a Wednesday if it decide to load and here um it's going to be a four yeah so we will go back to a wednesday and i'm just going to pause for it to pop up hold on so wednesday add three thursday add four so let's just say somebody have went and deleted this this is what it will look like because you can't find a date to um, everything will be a complete blank because it got no date. So what you could do is you go to uh, a formula, which is a date formula. You copy it and then you paste it on and then you change, change it according to what day of the week it is. That's how you do it. And um, all, all of these is done so that you see these are done so that you can actually do control H and you can actually just change it like this new name anyway I'm running out of time um, um, well good luck <laughs> thank you goodbye